Throughout its lifetime, one of the main pillars of it, the adventures of Dungeons and & Dragons and other role-playing games have been exploration. And one of the means by which you have exploration and you set a scene is by exploring some dark and dank cavern or dungeon, or perhaps you're out in the woods at night where anything could pop out at you. There have been any number of items that could help your players see in the dark. For example, a simple torch or a candle to something more fantastical like goggles, which give you the ability to see in the dark. In Dungeons and Dragons 5e, this has culminated in some characters having what they call dark vision. What's the problem with dark vision? Every other character race seems to have it. There are currently more playable races that have dark vision than do not. And this makes for a real problem when you have a party full of people who can all see perfectly in the dark or you end up with that one human who's the bumbling idiot who just can't see. According to the player's handbook, elves who have dark vision are accustomed to twilight forests in the night skies. You have superior vision in dark and dim conditions. You can see dim light within 60 feet of you as if it were bright light and in darkness as if it were dim light. You can't discern color in the darkness, only shades of gray. Now the problem with this is in a dungeon setting, 60 feet is a really long distance. And again, if it's total darkness, why would they be able to say at all? Another question that pops up is, what are the other forms of vision? In 5e, you have blind sight, which is you can perceive surroundings without relying on sight. So you can sort of think of Daredevil in his radar vision. This is often used for creatures that don't have eyes to begin with. There's also tremor sense. Someone with tremor sense can detect and pinpoint the origin of vibrations within a specific radius, provided that the monster and the source of the vibrations are in contact with the same ground or substance. So if the ground starts shaking, it knows where it is, much like the monsters and tremors. And the last is true sight. Someone with true sight can see out to a specific range in normal and magical darkness, see invisible creatures and objects, automatically detect visual illusions and succeed on saving throws against them, and perceive the original form of a shape changer or a creature that is transformed by magic. Furthermore, the monster can see into the ethereal plane within the same range. So how do we take this and make it into a more fun environment for the people designing out the games, for the GMs, and for the players themselves. Well, one way is by looking back at the original D&D. How did they have it? At that time, they had two versions of vision, infravision and ultravision. In fact, there were actually two types of infravision, one that had a 60-foot range and another a 90-foot range. The 90 is obviously better. Generally, infravision was restricted to creatures from the Underdark, where their normal surroundings are in darkness with perhaps just some lichen to light their way. Infravision is largely heat-based vision. So think of the Predator in a movie like that. But there are also many creatures in our world that have this. Snakes see by infravision, scorpions. This is a great addition to give monsters. Another thing that they used to do in older editions was if you were somewhere near a light source, your dark vision just didn't work. We could think of this like you see movies where there's some military troop and they're wearing night vision goggles and all of a sudden a light goes up and they cry, ah, I'm blind. That's exactly what would happen to your character. So let's say you do have that one human who needs a torch. If your elf is standing next to him, he's not going to be able to see anything in the darkness. He's only going to have vision out to the range of the torch. So armed with this knowledge of previous versions, how do we make dark vision work better in D&D 5e? How do we make it so it's more fun to design encounters, to design dungeons, and still have it more fun for players? First, we're going to start by redefining what dark vision means. Now, if you look at a lot of animals, let's say cats, they see very well in the dark. They have a kind of dark vision, but they can't see in total darkness. So dark vision will work as described 
in low light conditions where players wouldn't normally be able to see. Now you might say, well, what the heck does that mean? Let's say you're in the woods and you come across an abandoned house. And because it's abandoned, there are various holes in the walls and maybe in the ceiling. You go in there and for a human or some character without dark vision, it would be pitch black, necessitating some sort of light source. Whereas someone with dark vision will be able to see in there just fine. Where wouldn't they be able to see? Once you get into a dungeon that has no light source or perhaps in a castle once you're in the inner set of rooms, there won't be any light coming and there's nothing for you to see. Creatures with extra special forms of dark vision, i.e. devil sight and true sight, they would still be able to see in total darkness. This also creates a separation between dark vision and those other races that have better than dark vision. It can also separate what sort of magical items are better. Okay, so let's say you do have that human with you and he's got to fire up a torch. Hey, no problem, except if your character with dark vision is within 100 feet of a light source like this, their dark vision doesn't work. They basically just have normal vision. This means they either need to bring their own light sources in order to participate with a group, or perhaps they have to be a significant distance ahead of the group in order to more stealthily just go around using dark vision. This also gives you the potential to have more ambush on the character, or perhaps they then have to wait for the rest of the group to come by in order to launch their own ambush as one against many enemies is often a poor strategy. If somebody really wants to have vision that works all the time, consider giving them InfraVision. This will give you trade-offs as well as benefits. So for example, if a character can see heat alone, well, that's great. Being in a dungeon, a dark dungeon, won't do anything to hinder them. However, if you're out at the noontime sun and it's really hot and it's in the upper 90s, gonna have a really hard time differentiating people from the background heat. And if they come upon enemies who are on the backside of a bonfire, well, they might not be able to differentiate them from the massive heat source that's in front of them. They probably won't be able to get accurate numbers. In this way, you get the trade-off of better vision with not always having it work the way you want. And in a great D&D game, that's what you're looking for, trade-offs allow the player to play how they want to play, but have some caveats for that play style. So this is how I suggest fixing dark vision in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. This will be part of the rule set of Empire of the Undying Sun, my upcoming campaign, which should be crowdfunding later this year. Check in the description for a link to a website with more info about the game. Thanks everyone for watching. I will be back with more videos very soon. If you could, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And what do you think about dark vision? Is it a hindrance or a blessing?